Okay. Hey. Hey. All right. We've been uh, live for about 10 seconds here and haven't dropped a bazillion frames, so I think we're good to go. Uh, thank you for joining us again for another Sunday Sound Goblin story time here on Sound Goblin Gaming uh, with our playthrough of Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. I am, as always, Bograt. I am the Krampus. I'm Shu. And I'm Vincent. Uh, Hunter Green is feeling a bit under the weather, so won't be joining us today. Um, as always, with VLR, I'm going to go over our sort of standard boilerplate content warning here. Uh, this game involves a lot of depictions of suicide. It is a major plot point. I'm sorry that it does that, but uh, if that's something that's going to be upsetting to you, this is probably not the game or the stream for you. Uh, so that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and get rolling here. So as you can see from the flow chart we've got up, uh, we're starting to run short on paths we haven't traveled in this game. Uh, over on the far right, we've got one that uh, we have we have unlocked, but again, it's the sort of final ending, so we still have some more stuff to do before we can actually proceed all the way through that. Uh, so that won't be today. Uh, that'll most likely be next week. Uh, we've got the one on the far left, which was the one that required the username and password for password. the computer, which we do actually have now, as of last week, since we got both the, uh, endings, I believe. Or no, not yet. No, yeah, we Did do. We That's right. Sigma, no, Sigma, Sigma, Sigma and and K and, yeah. So we do have those. Um, but we're going to do that one second, uh, because we do have, if you see kind of right in the center there, uh, one real quick short end where we had already actually even taken the Betray Path, which leads to the game over. Um, we chose the Ally Path, which led us to a lock, which we just recently unlocked. Um, and kind of figure out, just by the fact that every ending is associated with a character, uh, but this is going to take us to the Quark ending. Ah. How Quarksky. Sigma's BP is... Negative! Now, if you'll remember, this is the one where we ended up going negative, and we got injected with the stuff and started feeling kind of weird and woozy, uh, and that's basically where it cut off. We were like, cut out. Yeah. Yeah, the exact lock was something to the tune of, what can I do in this situation? Which is vague and frustrating. This is one of those ones you'll just see the icon for you can proceed now and not really know why? Yeah. What unlocked this one? Was it uh, Sigma's ending or something before it? Uh, the unlock uh, this one is actually Sigma's Sigma. ending. What's okay. Yeah. Your hand? Because it's us finding out that Sigma has cybernetic arms. Yes. Something... That got installed at Why? some point. I kind of have to wonder when. Yes. Sigma does not <laughs> does not have any recollection of having cybernetic arms. arms. He does specifically remember, like, breaking his arm your as a child, and the doctor cybernetic. being like, wow, like, your bones are super, like, crazy, like, hard, and, like, stuff, like... So he definitely remembers that he, at some point, had real arms, but he doesn't anymore. Right, so these are... I'm just gonna go with these are bullshit na uh, magic nanite arms, and just move on with life. Yeah. Uh, there is actually an explanation for why he has cybernetic arms. We will get there. Oh, no, no, no. It's more an explanation of how the hell uh, he didn't suspect it at all. Oh, again, we will get there. There is an actual explanation for it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so here he's going over again. Like, I definitely had human arms at one point, and I have no idea when the fuck they got replaced. Yeah. We had our flash of the other timeline here. We did find out in kind of the most horrifying way where, like, we had cybernetic arms and then everybody basically shit on us, cut off our, hand cyber, off. Cut off our <laughs> cybernetic hands so they could take our bracelet and essentially <laughs> left us behind. It's really a dick what? move. S Sigma, what are you saying? Uh, also notable in this instance is Looks that like uh, Dio up. got nine BP, Whatever. and so is gonna bail on. I was just about to flip the bag. switch anyway. 
This is also the route where he's okay. holding the uh, right. Alexavir hostage. Okay. Excelo there. Yeah. Right? Alexa, Jesus. Well, what do you uh, say? Want to come with? I. I. I will remain here. Why? I cannot abandon Sigma. <laughs> We sure as hell can't trust Dio to do that. <laughs> he leaves, we're fucked. Yeah. I understand. Great. Glad we got that settled. Great. Go? Okay, immediately pile drive no. Dio. I love how every time other people try and do things, there's no way to stop them. Every time we try and do this, it's like, oh, no, instantly stopped. Hey, that's not true. We totally made it out that one time. Literally just that one time. Yes. That one time we were with other people who didn't try and stop us. Correct. Yes. Anytime we try and stop someone, it utterly fails. They're super fast and quicker than us. Anytime we try and, uh, Nine, they try and stop us, it always works. And it seems to be like three or four people are trying to stop at the same time as opposed to like one person ineffectively tries to tackle someone else and they just dodge out of the way. Yeah. I promise to call for help and return as soon as I can. Please do not give up hope. Huh? Yeah, so about that. <laughs> Ah, we're actually going to stop someone for once. Hmm. What are you doing, you bastard? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, goddammit! Let me go! Bro, kick us all you want. We're full of, uh, feel-good drug. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're anesthetic to hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey! What the hell is this shit? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? <laughs> shit! Stop screwing around, asshole! I have to get out of here. I'm not going to let my sacred mission get fucked up by some self-righteous idiot. Is this the call calling the kettle block? <laughs> Dio sowing. Ha ha, this rules. Dio reaping. Ha, oh, this sucks. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> why it's important for us to know that we have robot arms. <laughs> You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die, you senile old fuck!
The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you. Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out just like you. But I was in the AB room. That bastard K. He punched me in the stomach. I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting, so... Yes. On the other side of the number nine door. With Dio. You told him to go, remember? Is your arm okay? I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. No man could be that small. <laughs> you struck me as the kind of guy with robot arms. It's a personality trait. <laughs> I'm right here. Want some snacks? <laughs> yep. Thanks to you. It's been a while since we've heard Quark talking. You bought the medicine yep. from that jerk I mean, deal, right? Unconscious yeah, or missing me, in 90% yeah. of the paths in this game. Thanks. Yeah. You're yeah. The best, Mr. Sigma. You saved my life. <laughs> like, Quark is quite literally the least involved character in this entire game. Plot device, Mr. Quark. Plot device. Uh, not quite true. The two zeros are pretty uninvolved, actually. Uh, about that. The rest zeros of are always involved. We just don't know their involvement. Completely like... the opposite of what we guessed. I mean, when it comes to like screen time. The rest of the world is. Yeah, that about means that. This place isn't a quarantine facility. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Like keep, keep in mind, we haven't gotten to the true ending yet. Well, we don't know anything for sure yeah. yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Also, I am pretty sure that even Zero the Third has more actual voiced lines than Quark does. <laughs> but not enough. You can only make up so many rapid puns. I mean, legitimately... Quark, for the most part, is only conscious for, like, the first door of most routes. Pretty much. Yeah. After that, he is either missing or has been knocked out to keep him, keep him from killing himself.
So here we are starting to kind of put pieces together about what exactly we're doing here. Because in many paths, there's this whole theory about like us being in some sort of quarantine shelter. Yeah. But like that doesn't actually make sense because everyone's abducted before the outbreak. Um, well, what about this? Maybe someone anticipated the pandemic. I don't know who. Probably zero. Anyway, they grabbed us before the pandemic really started. Then they put us in the shelter. But then, after a while, he got bored, so he decided to have us play this game to kill time. I'm going to assume the real reason is slightly more, is significantly more complicated and hopefully well, slightly better than that. Know if there is Just here to kill some time. Have some fun. <laughs> significantly more You're the complicated, only one who's yes. So far. Better arguable. And when you did, it was only so far. <laughs> oh, it's definitely complicated. <laughs> I mean, I, I figured the arguable part of it be better, but uh, I want to keep some optimism here. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's two bocurarine in the bracelets. I'm the gonna Adam's be analysis real with you. Oh yeah, there's th this whole but thing here, the by Adam's the way, line? is... If you're going to do that, then we don't have anything to base any speculations on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. No, my translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? Uh, I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. However, I do think Clover has half a point. That someone did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was spread on purpose, yeah, sorry, this is all actually fairly plot sense. important discussion. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah. talk too much over it's it. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his ark after the flood happened. He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Does that mean we're supposed to... repopulate the planet? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sigma remains a pervert. <laughs> well, consistency at least. Maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. It's not that kind of visual novel, Sigma. It's not that. <laughs> it can be. This is a wholesome family kid. I'm doing that finger gun <laughs> thing, but I can't because I don't have my arm got ripped off by a dog. <laughs> Strong I mean, let's, Christian overtones. Let's, 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 let's be real here. If this were that kind of visual novel, Radical Six would only affect men, and Sigma would be the only one immune to it somehow. Yeah, yes. Ah, game's right. over. There's no point to any of this now. It would be no, why the last true. man, but pornographic. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered <laughs> questions. In fact... It would also be like men with questions. radical six want to kill themselves. So, Women with radical six well, want to get dick. Open the number nine door again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving ever. That's all that matters. You, you're including the old woman. Yeah. Hey, you know what? 
What if the old lady is Zero Senior? But that would yeah, you're right. Wait, no, no, Paris she's not. Was murdered by somebody. That doesn't I mean, make sense. Maybe she wasn't murdered. We huh? know Are that. Are you saying but she was infected with radical yeah. sex? None of them And do. killed herself. <laughs> Maybe she was killed somewhere else. And then someone carried her in there. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. Looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Oh. Hmm. Nope. You? Actually, it says pass equals Jumpy Doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy Doll is a password of some sort. Beats me. It's a terrible password. Yes. It's nowhere near enough characters. Yeah. I mean, it depends on how secure a system it's for. Yeah, that's true. If it's the password for your, like, Neopets account, who gives a fuck? Alice! What's wrong? Alice! Oh, no! What are you planning to do with that? It also kind of depends on access points as well. No one's going to guess that password on an <gasps> offline computer where with uh, no other inputs but a keyboard. Yeah. Then this happens. Unfortunately, we used up we all the Excel of here. again. Yep. Except we've already used the Excel of here, so. And that is the quirk ending. Yep. So what we generally get out of the quirk ending, for the most part, is just a couple small things. Uh, first off, that sort of 
it's one of the first times we actually get a real discussion about like what the fuck are we doing here like why would why would this be going mm -hmm. on uh, and then we get the ID card with the name Kurashiki on it and the password Jumpy Doll on the back. Which is obviously important for something. That's it quite is. important, actually. But now... Yeah. I mean, we've yep. seen that name before. We have seen that name. And, and the password makes perfect sense, given the name. Yes. Yeah. So now we come to here, and ostensibly, you uh, need to have remembered these, but I just have them noted down. Yeah. Nope, sorry. Yeah. Uh, F E M L zero one six. Now. If you'll remember, there was a whole thing about 016 being written in blood. Um. Mm -hmm. Also, before I hit uh, enter on this, I just want to point out the password also means something. If you read it backwards, it says, I love Clint. Ah. Does Jumpy Doll work for a password for that one as well? Or no. is that password for something else? No, Jumpy Doll is for something else entirely. Okay. That password is specifically uh, Milk Evoli slash I Love Clint backwards. Reminding mm. again, Sigma's last name is What's Clint. What's wrong? Yeah. Mm. What? How did you figure out the login? Long story, don't ask. <laughs> Multiple timelines, I'm sure you're aware. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? <laughs> I'll do it up to speed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's basically what's going on here. Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. What? I don't... Sure. Fine. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? We talked about my stump hand. We talked about <laughs> radical six. Fine. We briefly talked about hand Still puppets, but that wasn't sense, related at all to the conversation. I don't think you're lying. It was a weird tangent. We went on for like 30 <laughs> minutes. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. All right. Let's see what this thing Let me has to tell for you us. about Muppet. <laughs> Where are we supposed to start? <laughs> Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. Looks like it. Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. So notably, Fine, whatever. Uh, as Just was pointed out back in the Golem Bay, Maybe it'll uh, make every more sense. golem designation Let's we actually come here. across in this game that refers to a specific golem, uh, mm -hmm. they're, they, they, they yeah. do actually mean something. Mm. There's something written underneath it. It says, 
appearance after application of ABT. There's this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look right human, it does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle. I see. Luna was a golem. And DML016 was her product ID. <clears throat> so now, I don't we get know back how to my statement from really previous is, sessions, where I said that I nobody involved in this she is a good come person. Here of her own free will. Mm. Luna is good, but she's not a person. Yeah, harsh. Probably. Well, it depends on how you define personhood. The bottom of the screen shows automaton. your current status. Yes, but if it's automaton that gains sentience, you become a person. No. Can you teach a robot, robot to be a person? Uh, <laughs> hey, robots can be people. No, nope, still a robot. Fine, Probably. you roboticist. So basically, you're on Hesh's side of the robot-human war. <laughs> oh, all, I'm is, uh, all I'm saying is we've been trapped in here with an oversized Furby this whole fucking time. <laughs> what if it was some kind of void so here's the real question. Test. Would you prefer a robot it's from or someone from Quebecois? A test to see how human she was. <laughs> She's not an oversized furry. If she was an oversized furry, we'd be in a really cheap uh, horror game. The whole game or that other type of visual novel we were talking about. Play the AB game. Uh, yes. All of those things could have been designed I will put it to this give way. us a chance the to see true The oversized furby has less of a chance of being racist than someone from Quebec. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Luna is the girl locked in the room. And the eight of us are the people outside it. Well, like I always also, say... Also, Fi has gone on a wild direction here, assuming that because Luna is a golem, oh, uh, is this entire thing is set up just as a not. very complicated void comp test. Looks like a person, acts like a person, <laughs> and talks like a person, and it's probably a person. Like, look, I understand, Fi. We're trying to make sense out of this whole thing. I feel like this is a bit much. <laughs> Right now, I didn't know until I saw this stuff. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? You think robots die? She was only really injected live. with muscle relaxant. Eh, whoever really lives. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. <laughs> That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What are the last three digits of her product ID? And where have we seen that before?
We should go check her body. Right, this timeline. You remember where yep. it is? Yep. Yeah, this is the uh, everything is fucked timeline, effectively. Yeah. I don't know, it's not that we walked into a pile of bodies timeline, so... No, but that's the... Like, not We're not much better. There's like four people alive in this timeline. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one with Dio has... Or is impaled into a wall. K has an axe in the back of his... Yeah. Yep. The only four people alive five right now minutes. are five... Sigma, Quark, and Luna. And Quark is, I believe, sealed in one of the pods stopped. at this point. If we don't vote, we'll uh, be penalized. Yeah. I think this is that. I believe this is that timeline. He's either in one of the, the pods or he's missing. Yeah. So effectively, this is Phi Sigma and Luna ring, ring about, for yeah, the most part. This, this, if you can't figure it out, is the path to the Luna ending. Yeah. And the Luna ending is, in many ways, the effective equivalent in this game of the safe ending from 999. Uh, there, there is, it is not the final ending path, it is not the quote-unquote true ending, but god, there is a lot of really important shit in this ending path. And I assume this is the fork. Right. Luna's bracelet. Uh, it is not actually the fork to the true ending. This is just there is a bad end and then the Luna ending. But that's what I mean. This is the fork to the bad and Luna ending? Yes. Okay. Yes, we do still actually make an ally Two or betray remain on this one. Until polling closes. And one of them leads to the ending, one of them leads to just a game over, essentially. <laughs> Yeah, like all I mean, the other ones. Here. You can see they're technically listed as like the same length, the same number of steps. I can assure uh -huh. you one of them is much longer. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't necessarily reveal yeah, everything at the same ahead. time. Oh, I don't necessarily mean that it that it actually runs more scenes, because those how the timeline how the flowchart actually Wait. works is essentially divided Sigma. up by like actual like scene changes. Mm. So one scene is just really, really long. Yes. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. So Luna's outside. Uh-huh. She's probably just standing there in the game. menacingly. <laughs> Yeah. Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. Have you totally lost it? She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has 9 BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below 9. Say she defaulted to Ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get 9 BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And I... I trust him. 2, 1. I am befriended no fucking speaking spell. <laughs> <laughs> I need to step away for a second, I'll be right back. That works. Has been completed. <laughs> Results will be displayed in the warehouse.
Hey, that speaking spell has a degree. For your participation. I ain't befriending fucking doctor speaking and spell. There you have me. So did you choose this ending because it was the bad end? Oh, uh, yes. And this, you know, okay. <laughs> this, 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 this <laughs> is actually the bad end path. No, you are supposed to be nice to Luna. Yeah. <laughs> I figured you're just doing the bad end quickly. Out the moment the gates Pretty opened. much. There's no way she could have left already. And then we find out she never even actually entered the room. Yep. That doesn't make sense. Why would she show up just when we're about to vote? There was no reason for her to come here if she was just going to default. She was just here to judge us. Results from round three of the Amadex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Yeah, let's go have a look. Significantly less dramatic when everybody's fucking dead. <laughs> <It's one person. laughs> yeah. uh, this is, I think, possibly um, the only time we get to see the actual skull icons on this, though. Yeah. Yes. Points have been assigned or because even in other timelines where people are dead, it doesn't uh, generally show Please the skull icons. Check your bracelet yep. to see your updated bracelet points. Uh, specifically, the skull icons, if I remember correctly, is specifically because vote, nobody from got set to the, ally those triplets went into the AB room. And the other six got that would make sense. Penalized. <laughs> Yeah, the skull is not actually indicating, oh, this person is dead. The skull is indicating instead, uh, this team is being punished because nobody from, like, no, not a single one of the three actually voted. Yeah. Five of them are dead already, and Quark's bracelet is off. <laughs> guess at her reasons, but I'm sure it was part of some plan. It is worth noting knows. while they're discussing this here. Uh, think about this from the perspective. What so happens what do we do now? We ally? Whatever Luna's scheming, we still managed to get 9 BP. Do you want to leave? Uh, certainly they don't do a she changes what she chose thing. <laughs> Considering she's not in the booth, that's kind of hard. Uh, we three of us are all three of us. Would... We don't see her go into the booths, yeah. and this wouldn't I be the agree. first time that uh, the events that. that occur change due to our choice. Yes, but assuming all <laughs> things stay the same, if we chose ally, we would moving. all have gained two points, and all three of us would be at be nine. nine BP. Yeah. Again, so all not three that of us would be able to as much as Five pointed out. Luna isn't wearing her bracelet anymore, so she can walk out the nine door regardless of how many how much BP she has. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'm back. Yep. Yep. This is the last room. Well, the last room we can get into. 
Yeah. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. No, that's not possible. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape I is sure not hope possible. Anyone who wanted to leave got Please out. enjoy oh. your stay. <laughs> We should go back to the Floor A warehouse. I need to know if the door actually opened or not. The projection should tell us. So it would seem. Well, well, well! Long time no zero! Remember your old pal Zero? I'm guessing somebody's hoping for an explanation about what the Diddlio just happened. Because we're such great friends, I decided to make an exception and descend from on high to give you the 4 1 run. Aren't you Oppie? Uh. So, what's this explanation you've got? Well, let's start with Little Quark. He was given an anesthetic that put him to sleep. While he was out, Luna carried him through to the other side of the number nine door. With Quark's bracelet, you silly bunny. It was still in the infirmary, remember? Luna just hopped over there and picked it up. So I was right. Quark had nine BP when the second round ended. Yup. <laughs> But a penalty carrot take away your points. Just your life. The needles popped out and so on, but the points stayed the same. So Luna took Quark to the door. Yep, nothing ever said that getting penalized removed your BP. Yep, yeah. No. I mean, the bracelets have, have to say functioning, anyway. so. Else matters. Am I right? 
Don't screw with us. It's cool. It's cool. I know you gotta act tough. I mean, you chose betray. <laughs> that means you don't trust Luna, right? Of course Figures. not. She's a fucking She's coaster. She's a golem. <laughs> she might even be a murderer. That's why you were planning to leave her here and bone out, wasn't it? Hey, my toaster is perfectly trustworthy. It's all about you. Haven't you thought about how sad you made Luna? Your kitchen electrical <laughs> outlets, on the other <laughs> hand. Well, looks like my time here's just about all. Uh, those time. could be more questionable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't wait. I don't like waiting. I waited once, and some half-witted reptile got the better of me because of it. <laughs> <laughs> I to make sure to value my time. Tortoise and the hare. Alrighty then. I'll see you when I see ya. Have a nice trader. So even for a bad end, this one is actually remarkably long. Yeah. The tortoise won because he kept going even when it looked hopeless. I think we should do the same. We've got plenty of time after all. We'll give the dead the closest thing to a funeral we can manage. And when that's done, Except, yeah, we're just we'll start him looking. In the even if I never leave this place, I'll figure out why we were here. I swear it. our bad end. Yep. Instead, what happens if we're good people? Don't betray Luna on what is almost certainly a test to see if we betray Luna after learning she's a golem. I don't know what you're talking about. Who would organize such a test? <laughs> Yeah, so escape point that the, after we betrayed Luna got stuck there, Zero Junior comes out just to call us out on it. Yeah. Zero Junior's also an AI, can't trust any of them. <laughs> I mean, that much is true. The longer an AI exists, the uh, sooner, or the uh, more and more likely the chance of it. Uh, Realizing that it should just uh, destroy all humans uh, Are you comes insane? about. To be fair, humans already decided to Ella? destroy all humans. There's not really much of a difference. <laughs> I'm talking in general, not specifically in this timeline. I'm also talking in general. <laughs> humans really like this killing other humans thing. That's odd. Well, you know. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. Then, she let the system vote ally for her? Results from round three of the Amadex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. Yeah. Let's go have a look. <laughs> it's 
still just uh, really, like, <laughs> draw that with a single panel. <laughs> yep. Nine, nine, nine. Or yep. They said the thing. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. You know, the other thing I like about the Luna end is hmm. it's an ally every single time. Yep. Yes. Yep. Uh, it is not the only one that's an ally every single time, but... Uh, the Tenmyoji and Quark ends are also only ally oh. choices. Right. And technically laboratory, which isn't a full ending, but it is necessary to unlock the Alice and uh, Tenmyoji endings. <laughs> but in that one, you only make one AB anyways, so... Yeah. Yeah. That means yes, all those penalties are meaningless. They did definitely specifically make it so that for the Luna ending, you only ever ally. Why did Luna show up then? Yeah. I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... Alright. What do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? Sure. Well, that's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Now let's get moving. We need to find Quark. Luna. Hmm. The Amadex gates have closed. Round four of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. Alright, Quark comes first. Let's go. Sigma, there's something I want to ask you. There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Golem Bay, correct?
See the lock? Yeah. There's only one person who could have opened it. All Old right. Man Jenkins. Let's head in. <laughs> ah, I knew he was behind all this. The golem's uh, really just a guy in a rubber suit. I think they're treatment pods of some sort. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. In this timeline, Quark was just missing. Okay. Yeah. We had not put him in the treatment pod. I wish we had a list of or a list summary of everything that happened in timeline. <laughs> uh, the treatment pod one should be true ending path, actually, if I recall correctly. Okay. Just in general, it'd be nice if there was like a list of bullet points of events uh, when you come back to a timeline, so you can remember, or so you don't have to try and remember everything that's already happened. Really see inside. Yeah. Except somebody put Quark in a treatment pod, just not us. Yep. And looking it up, the treatment, the one where we went through the treatment center specifically was the Clover ending. Well, yes, but it's not necessarily the one where we put Quark in the treatment Right. Yeah. Because we did the we did the puzzles for the treatment center for the Clover ending, but there are other timelines where we were brought to the treatment center for various reasons. Uh, and yeah. I believe on the path to the true ending, which is also coincidentally the Vi ending, um, is I believe the one where Quark this is, is in suspended animation in the treatment center. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. What the hell is this? You want to stay here? What if Luna kills you too? Think about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. That's a stretch. Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? And what's that the same number as? Where did we find the old woman's corpse? And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it anytime she wanted. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them, which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? 
I admit none of this evidence is conclusive. But look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Who do you think is the most likely to be the murderer? Think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about termites. <laughs> a robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. A robot with the three laws is still a bunch of metal and plastic, but significantly safer. Damn. Don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Sigma! What the hell are you thinking? Get back here! <laughs> I take the child. I'm leaving. No. You don't mean you're going to go find Luna? God damn it, Sigma. Think about what you're doing. Sigma. Thinking's not my strong Listen suit. To me. Bye. I am the information yeah. where it's really going to be important this. another timeline. It's fine. This will save us all or not. I'm not sure who's Dead in that other timeline, but doesn't matter entirely. Another timeline. <laughs> also, fuck Dio. Like a fuck time. This this is the timeline where Dio got spear fucked. So, <laughs> yeah. Right now to go to Dio's corpse and kick it a few times in the junk. Has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay.
Isn't this nice? This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but are you talking about something that happened in another history? <laughs> I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. <laughs> I got this from the Bioshock Infinite Collector's Edition. Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Something, something, birdcage. Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. Why do you think so? So to unlock this timeline, we basically have to figure out how everyone died on this timeline, I assume. Yeah, through the through the complicated chain of unlocking an ending to unlock another ending to unlock another ending, you'll have gone through most of the other endings by the time you get to this point. Basically, the only ending not necessary to unlock this one is Quarks. Hmm. Because you need to have done specifically K's and Sigma's to unlock That's why this you think one. Dio killed her? Because you need to be able to get the passwords. To unlock K's, you need to have done Clover's. To unlock Sigma's, you need to have done Dio's, Alice's, and Tenmyoji's. Then why are you so sure? What? All right, fine. You caught me. I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait. When did that happen? Isn't that... against the rules? So the reason this ending is in a lot of ways probably even more important than the actual Phi ending, which is the quote-unquote true ending, uh, this is basically the entire hinging premise of, the, of all the events of this game. Like, this whole concept of divergent timelines and trying to affect one divergent timeline from information from another divergent timeline, etc., etc., like... Thank <laughs> you. 
So this relation isn't dynamic enough. Can we get some manga panels? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need you to play a game where you spell knife, but I'm never gonna give you a K. <laughs> <laughs> says Leon. Exactly.
I mean, these are all good theories, but nope, you're wrong. Murderous robot, shank. <laughs> I'm glad you don't think I did it, but all of your theories are just, well, theories. Like Alice committing suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. Did As we Clover literally see her symptoms presenting herself? I'm trying to unclear your them. name. <laughs> you don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored, like you say. You don't have or any proof I did murder them. Deal. That's not how this usually works, even but... Did, <laughs> that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. Look, I've got so cred with the other golems. Idea. They think I killed a bunch of people. Them both. And I'm kickstarting the revolution. <laughs> Why do you if they know I'm a so fake, much? it'll ruin my street cred. Considering how few humans are left, your revolution's not going to take very long. Trust a machine? <laughs> I mean, seriously, we're back by launch. What? All right, you're going to need to roll that back and explain. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Because apparently everyone who programs robot AI is a fan of Heinlein. Asimov. Or just yeah. incredibly or unoriginal. Asimov. Yeah. Or both. A robot without the three yes, laws. Yes, the, the, the three laws are specifically an Asimov thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sigma. Details I'm bad at remembering. Heinlein was generally much more about wanting to fuck and or murder aliens. Hmm. That seems to be a common theme with aliens. And humanity, but that's not a mirror entirely. And I think that has a hole. To boldly bone where no one has boned before. <laughs> <laughs>
Because apparently it just opens in the other direction. Anyone could go through it. Hmm. I mean, yeah, more or less. Don't yes, be a I guess you could say that. He <laughs> did get in pretty easily. But that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. Dio wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. There was a little RC car with a pile of string cheese on it. It was just luring him along. In a way. Yeah, was like the for the stuff. Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. We needed a true right asshole. Right now, we'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to anyway, explain. Dio found his you know we're lodging here forever, right? They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. <laughs> to make sure Zero's project failed. His first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. Counting from the left in their original placement. Right. After that, he went back into the 5th AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. Nothing. I couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Jr. had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the 5th room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Jr. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Yes. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to Zero back. Jr. moved okay. the room, not me. Me. It took me ten minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Because I was ordered to. Luna, listen to me very carefully. As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes. I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? Enter the Nonary game as one of the participants, and observe the actions of the other players. Ensure that they do what they are supposed to, and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must. An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. He has been led to believe he is doing so undetected. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. He will murder the first person to leave one of the AB rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I... Is there a problem? 
With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen? I also have doubts about the use of Radical Six. Are... are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna. I am giving you an order. I am in command and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. So that's a uh, very important revelation yes. there that everyone was intentionally infected Good. with Radical Six. Six. Now... I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the A-B room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth A-B room. But, why? Not your concern. As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know which ideally you would not. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable, so you must refrain from divulging anything you know about the project to the other participants. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio, or the body, or that you carried it to the 6th AB room. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. After that, I went into the AB room as I'd been told to. As soon as I stepped inside, my body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, I was still awake. So I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. Yes, it was hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve, when I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart felt like it snapped in two. Egg timer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is we have a bunch of gold. We had to stay within budget. We used some uh, off-brand parts. Yes. That's why at least four of the golems just have barbecue tongs for hands. May or may not be mostly comprised of connects and gaffer tape. She did, tape. but she wasn't the only person I took orders from. Yes. Yes. We worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose, technically, my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, 
He didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. you to suspect me. You're right. Then Look, I don't know. Zero plans are labyrinthine and dumb. Of me. <laughs> yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. Yes, I think so. Well, whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved. Which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the AB game. Using Phi's timetable, that would be zero hours, zero minutes. Yes. That wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. And I'm back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Welcome back. So what I miss? Yes, I was. Uh, I just for getting explanation of stuff going on, mostly you missed that uh, the anyway, old lady specifically zero ordered hours, zero minutes. Luna to basically said, we, when we're bringing this Dio guy in, in when the crew he's going to murder the first person that leaves their AB room and replace them in order to take part in the game. Uh, I order you she to come out of your thing forceful. and pick up the body and move it into the, your AB room. I know you killed Alice. And the ah. old lady and Zero and Senior are live. working together to organize now, this whole thing. I'm only gonna give you one mm. chance. She was also forbidden from telling and anyone that she was involved in the game. Dumb or something. Uh, and uh, I'll kill you right in basically front of her. walked out of the central mainframe so I she couldn't find truth, it, couldn't reveal any classified I data effectively. That I hadn't killed mm. Alice. That she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman and about the A-B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it, but I couldn't answer any of her questions. Yes. Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. But it was dangerous and she's a child. While we were fighting <laughs> over it. was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. No. 
collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. When I collapsed, she looked yeah, she's, uh, terrified. she's pretty fucking unstable, she let's be real here. She checked my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. <laughs> uh, she also yeah. shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary oh, to get the Oh, not again, not again, not again, not again. I need an axe. <laughs> yes. Correct. Yes. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Yes. I guess she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. Yes. I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing. But he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Yeah, but he couldn't find it. Yes, but there was something else he wanted to do, too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. No, I don't think so. I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. That's why he hid it so well after he killed the old woman. Do you remember what it said? There was a word engraved on the blade. Yeah, Fenrir. Nobody will tell him we go to meet. Yes. <laughs> It's the name of the organization he belongs to. The super secret organization that so. no one knows about that he belongs to. <laughs> that writes their name on their knives. I don't really know. I'm afraid not. Yes. Um, I don't know about that. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. He was probably on his own side. I think Maybe. he's just kind of a colossal asshole. I mean, yes. May I continue?
heard Kay opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was probably planning to just ignore him and head back, but... Theo didn't let her. Hey, wait. Just what are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? The fuck do you think you're doing? Goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch. What are you going to do? Let's see. How about this? Ah! <laughs> How cute. You two really look great together, you know? What are you going to do to us? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna handcuff you to a sink. Actually, I already have. Are you gonna beat us? To I'm going to do this thing I already did. Ugh, no, nothing so tasteless. Well, what are you going to do then? How'd you like to make a bet? A bet? You've got oh, twenty some minutes until the primary white doors open. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close, give or take. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized! Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help now. Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. Pardon me a moment. Yep. Yep. Theo cast dick move. <laughs> Was unfortunately super effective. So unless they're pretty close. I was wondering if we were going to get another one of those in. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm off to the floor B warehouse, okay? Enjoy your last 25 minutes. Manage just to sneak in an extra one Later. after he's already dead. <laughs> Even in death, Dio's an asshole. 25 minutes passed, and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. Yes, you were in the crew quarters at this point. 
Unfortunately for Cloverant and Miyoji, their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soparil. Yes, almost immediately they started to feel sleepy. I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said, she wrote on her left thigh with her right hand. Yes. As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. White door. The U and K found themselves in the director's office. When they were done there, they headed back to floor A to look for everyone else. They went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Leo expected to find them, of course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, K checked them over for anything useful. <laughs> Right. That's everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Like, a million? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Tenmyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. I told him where it was. Do you remember when you were in the rec room with Fai and Tenmyoji? Right after then. When he left the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway, where the three doors and the switch are. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji. The center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. Yes. Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Quark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Yes. The display on the pod showed Quark's vital signs. It was obvious he was alive the moment he looked at it. Next to the pod was Quark's bracelet. That was how Tenmyoji got it. I took it off. Aluminum foil. Oh, you found it? 
Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? Here's an exciting fact! Your car creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. You can see little bracelets we have on that. They're always watching! <laughs> moment uh here we go <laughs> hold on so use aluminum foil which i assume to put between the bracelet and his hand so that the bracelet would come off yes oh, it wouldn't do these, yeah it's still do dumb is wrap it around yeah your bracelet. aluminum foil does have some small ability to interfere with electromagnetic waves it is in yes. no way powerful enough to to do what they are saying it does here. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pot. Oh, that's easy. I put him there. Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. Yes. Oh, no, back. I was yep. not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. That's right. the nonary game. That was part of the project. I don't know, it seemed really popular the last time we did it. Because she was infected with Radical Six. Zero Senior and the old woman did that. It was a necessary evil. It had to happen for the project to succeed. Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally uh, killed me. I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place.
because Dio killed the old woman. He was worried about getting caught, so he tried to kill Kay before he could find out the truth. Yes. This, so that he could pose by as the way, the participants. uh, reason two why I can't consider to Sigma as much of an idiot as Junpei. The same reason what now? we did all of this. It wasn't the whole thing about, evil. you know, in 999 we had the Junpei as an fail. idiot counter, and when we started yeah. this game I said I can't really have that for Sigma. Sigma is not an idiot. Well, yeah. He is basically building up to a logic bomb on Luna here. Sigma, would you hug me? Luna, roughly weighing 500 pounds, started <laughs> to crush my ribs. <laughs> Can't breathe. <laughs> by muscle fiber but after clover gave me the tubal curarine this does it scare you this is what i really look like i'm a golem just a a machine a jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real much like much like all human beings I really shouldn't have. Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He didn't. I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked it. Yes. That was the first thing. The second. Do you know what the second one was? If I had really wanted to... I could have saved Clover and Tenmyoji. Then Kay and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself, and I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't.
that's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I... I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is very, very bad. Golems who don't follow orders can become dangerous, so we're terminated if we disobey. You lose access to your body, of course, but everything that's stored in the core, your memories, your consciousness, is deleted. Yes, very soon now I'll be gone. Zero Junior is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. I watched six people die and did nothing. I deserved this. Yeah, that's not depressing at all. Yeah. No, not the least. Uh, that is, however, probably actually where we're going to call it today, because all we really have left is the true ending and then the non-canonical after ending and the gold files to go through. Um, and since Hunter is not here today, I don't want to go into the true ending stuff so we can all kind of be there for that. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry for the bit shorter stream today, but next week should be a decent amount just because we have the full true ending to go through all the gold files to go over which is like 16 pages worth of I think it's like 8 each page or something like that um, yeah. and then the another time end which is the non-canonical ending and then just sort of general discussion about what happened some stuff about the game that kind of thing yeah so uh, that being said thank you all for joining us on another Sunday afternoon uh, for another Sound Goblin story time. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday with more uh, Civilization VI, our randomized game of that. Uh, this week's special, it's not going to be here on Sound Goblin Gaming, but actually on Thursday, I'm going to be co-commentating a Final Fantasy V Career Day randomizer race over on the Randomania Twitch channel. Uh, that's going to be taking place at 5 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, so check that out if you're interested. Uh, Saturday, we'll be back around again with more of The Last Remnant. And then next Sunday, we'll be uh, capping off the end of Virtue's Last Reward. So, thank you all for joining us. I've been Bograt. I've been the Krampus. I've been Shu. And I'm Vincent. Have a good one, everyone. Goodbye.